What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So on today's episode, we are talking about chasing the best workwear. So I went ahead and ordered some True Work pants. So I'm really excited about today's video because we're going to unbox or unbag some new pants today. We're going to try them on and I'm going to show you um, just exactly some of the features that I note from unpacking them, and then we're gonna test them out to see how they fit. So if you're interested in my review, well, stay tuned. All right, guys, let's get down to the real reason why we're here. So we are going to go ahead and unbag these pants. This is the first time I'm ever taking them out of the packaging. So one thing I want to note is that TrueWork has an awesome website and it looks like they have awesome products that are recognized by a lot of people. So these T2 work pants are designed for uh, basically your uh, Midwest type climates, uh, stuff that's not going to get extremely cold or not extremely hot. So they're not designed for working in the desert in Phoenix and they're not uh, you know, for stuff like working in Antarctica. So they have a T1 pant that is for the drier climates or the hotter climates. And then you have your T2, uh, which is for fall and springtime uh, when your degrees are probably 50 to 75 degrees uh, to be comfortable. So these T2 work pants have a 4.8 star review after 377 reviews on their website. So I felt pretty comfortable in ordering them. Now, the thing about the price is that it is what has held me back for a long time. So these pants go for $80 uh, and I was a little reluctant, but they had a buy one, get one 30% off. So I said, let's make it happen. So first off, from feeling the material, it's not a traditional material like you would have from a denim uh, work pant or you know something like Dickies that I've done in the past where they're carpenter work pants. Um, they have like a denim type feel. They're pretty much might as well be denim. These kind of feel like a uh, parachute pants type uh, uh, material. I don't know exactly what they are. I guess I should have done a little bit more research to make you uh, a little bit more educated, but I really like the inside. The inside has a um, kind of like a suede feel to it. It's not very heavy. These are very light pants. Um, they are pretty good fit and finish so far. All the seams are double stitched. They have little buttons around the pockets. They have a little zip up pocket here in the right hand pocket. Um, looks nice and small. Um, I will have to change up my uh, knife and uh, flashlight situation. Flashlight, I usually carry a Sharpie and a pen with me. So I might have to rework kind of what I'm doing when I wear these pants. But uh, these should work out decent for me. They have a nice big cell phone pocket here on the right hand side. Um, I'll go over each of these little pockets when I put them on and show you just where they are at. I like the two buckles here at the top, uh, makes it nice and positive. Uh, the zipper is definitely a robust zipper. Um, this is a YKK zipper, so you know, top of the line, they're using good stuff. Um, they're made in Bangladesh, if anybody cares. Uh, everything looks on the up and up with these bad boys. I really like the feel of them. I really like that they're lightweight. Um, I guess it's time that we try them on. All right, so initial try on, uh, I really, really like them. So uh, first thing I thought about when I put these on was they kind of sound like, uh, I don't know, like a tarp. So there will be some getting used to with the actual material of that soft shell, but um, I really, really like them. So the pockets are a little tight for me. They're a little high, but nonetheless, I mean, they fit my cell phone a lot better than my Dickies work pants. Um, it, it's a nice deep pocket in the front, which is a big plus for stuff that needs to actually fit down in the pocket. So this is my left hip. Um, and so I have the little Velcro pocket down here that will actually allow you to, uh, to Velcro in the tab 
so it's just a wide open pocket. Uh, the thing I like about these pockets is that they are sewn on the outside of the pants. So it's not like you are uh, in this pocket and you have a mesh material that will just decay and otherwise get ripped up. This is the actual pants material inside the pocket. This pocket is just sewn on the exterior. So that is an awesome thing with these pants and I think they will hold up uh, for many, many years for me. Now, there is not a second uh, pocket in the back. You don't have a, a butt pocket on the left-hand side. You only have one on the right-hand side, and uh, it's, I think it's a zipper. So it's even difficult for me to find out where, okay, it's over here. So it's not really on your actual butt pocket. It's back um, just off of the right seam here. So it's not really over on your butt. Not too bad. Um, stuff I'm going to have to get used to. Uh, will it work for me in my current situation with work and what I keep in my pockets? Probably not. Um, I need a deep pocket that's inside of this pocket here for a knife, flashlight, stylus pro, uh, Sharpie, and a pen just so uh, I can keep my keys in my front pocket, but also keep my other stuff here. This pocket here is too shallow for me. So that's just something that I will have to work on in my workflow. So the last thing I wanna talk about is the crotch gusset. So the crotch gusset allows for you to stoop or crouch um, and not really strain the crotch of the pants. So this has, they call it a four-way stretch. Uh, other, other companies like uh, Duluth, they call it a crotch gusset. Um, it's basically a sewn-in panel in the crotch. Gives you a lot of ballroom and a lot of flexibility when moving around, um, not like other pants. I have ripped I don't know how many crotches out of the Dickies uh, carpenter pants, their 674 stuff. Uh, literally every pair of pants I've ever had that don't, that don't have a crotch gusset, I've ripped the crotch out of just for moving around and otherwise working in them like anybody else would. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the review today. Uh, I definitely recommend these pants. They are pretty awesome on first uh, look. So I think that they will definitely become a essential part of my work arsenal and I have two pairs to rotate in. So I'm excited about them. I think you will be too. Uh, if it wasn't something that I would put on my body or wear for myself, I wouldn't be here making a video and recommending it to you. So you know what time it is. Give my video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. If you haven't clicked subscribed already, well, I hope to bring value to you in your life and I hope you stick around the channel. So if you're subscribed and you're a longtime viewer, I salute you. Thanks guys for being loyal and we'll see you guys in the next video.